I was terrible at school. I mean, absolutely awful at schools. I actually uh, signed up for the army. There was no one like me. Bacon's too niche. They're never going to do anything with bacon. In the end, I gave up. Well, I raced for Aston for a few years and joined my dad's business. I tend to shy away from where there's lots of people. So I'm here with Paul Hollywood. Paul Hollywood. Paul Hollywood. So I got the chance to interview one of the biggest TV personalities and world-renowned bakers. He got his car wrapped, but due to privacy reasons, we won't be able to actually show you it. However, we did get his reaction to the unveiling of his new wrap. Comment down below and let me know what you think it is. But for now, here's another up close and personal with the king of the Great British Bake Off. Did you ever think baking would give you this lifestyle? No, not at all. I mean, there was no one like me. Most, there was a lot of chefs out there. Yeah, everyone's a chef. I think baking was always something that was, was my thing. I, there was no room for someone like me. I think because baking was too niche, and I was told that all the way through my informative years in television, baking's too niche, they're never gonna do anything with baking. And then of course I met Mary, and then Bake Off did what it did, which is, I was, I was in the right place. I've been very lucky. So I've been in the right place at the right time. If you wasn't a baker, mm. would you be in like the motor industry? I actually uh, signed up for the army tank regiment when I was very young. I think the day I was called up to go to start, I pulled out. I was terrible at school. I mean, absolutely awful at school. So I, for me, I thought, yeah, go into the armed forces and see what I can do something with my life, you know, because I didn't want to join my dad's business. In the end, I gave up and joined my dad's business. And I picked it up really, abnormally quickly because I grew up in and around Natural. bakeries didn't know quite it was going to take me to the tent but I've enjoyed the journey it's been fascinating although the fame side of things I struggle with a little bit baking is so approachable and it's quite an in thing so a lot of these people have seen bake off for 14 years and they've seen it when they were kids so as they've grown up they just followed the series and obviously there's been a change in a few of the hosts over the over the years but um the bakers are the stars we're just the framework but the tent is the the ultimate star How do you have like a normal private life? I live in the middle of nowhere. I've got, I've got very few neighbors. I tend to shy away from where there's lots of people. I like nothing better than putting my dressing gown on, kicking back on the sofa and put a Netflix series on. That, that's my thing. And really? so I enjoy that. I go out on my motorbikes a lot. Again, anonymity, helmet, black visor, and I'm away. I don't crave the fame side of things. It's sort of a byproduct of what you do. The fans of the show, I'm always, the, I'm always there for them, help them say hello, do photographs and all that sort of thing. People have got a lot of baking questions, but it does, the age range is, you know, from five to 95, and, and, and it's literally all inclusive. How do you make your bread? Let, let, let's let's see, let's see. Let me know if she's any good, yeah? I'll go to test. Flour. Yeah. Yeast. Yeah. Oil, salt. Mix it up, bake it in the oven. Bit, is bit it, water. Is it a wet dough or yeah, wet, dry, yeah, dry wet. wet? Well, see, what we tend to do is we tend to make like pizza dough because we make homemade pizzas, okay. and then whatever's left, we make a bit of bread from it. Do you find how long's your pizza in the oven for? 15, 20 minutes. Too long. Pizza should be in the oven for a minute and 10 seconds. Not in a proper oven oven. I'd have that a is a proper oven. But not the oven you're thinking of. Yeah, not my little like normal household. You can get, oven. you know, the outside garden ones, yeah. these little pizza things. Now I use Gosney, which are really good, and the pizzas go in there for about a minute, ten. That's minute, what size minute, got. Minute, ten. See, it's the most I'd amazing like. Italian authentic pizza you'll ever have. Honestly, it's worth it. And you'll use thing. it, and you actually you'll save yeah. money in the long run because you use it all the time and feed the whole street, not just your house. We know you love cars, and obviously the car we've wrapped today, we're obviously not revealing. And you've got a few other cars. We spoke about motorbikes and stuff. Yeah, motorbikes, my thing. Yeah, I love them. Can you can you tell us a couple of other cars that you have? Most people know I'm an Aston man. Well, I raced for Aston for a few years. Uh, Aston did a support race at Le Mans back in 2013, 14. It was, and I was in the GT4 race car racing with David Richards, who's the head of AMR. He's also the head of MSV at the moment. And uh, we raced together. I raced with Jamie Chadwick and Ross Gunn and Johnny Adam. They're all very famous racing drivers and who've done really, and they were all my tutors. So, and I was getting pats on the back from the pros. I thought, I'm all right, I'm, I'm okay. I didn't You're just want to, yeah, I didn't just want to be, oh, that's the famous guy, that's why he's racing. Yeah. I wanted to be okay at doing it. And I, I'm like, whatever you do, I think you need to try and get better. And that, that's the journey I'm on. Uh, and I, whatever you do, I think in life, it's a good, it's a good mantra to have. Right, so Paul, we're going to get you to sign the wall. Okay. But first, do you have a YouTube channel? 
Paul Hollywood Easy Bakes, and there's a lot of recipes on there, dead easy, and it's simple to follow. Click here and head over there and check that. I might have to check over there and see, see what my bacon's like. <laughs> but we'll get Paul to sign the wall. What would you say to young people who are working in their family business? Don't use it as a shortcut to say, oh, I'm gonna, I'll take over this business. That's not the way of looking at it. Do you enjoy it? Because I worked for my dad's business and realized I couldn't work for my dad. I needed to do my own path. My dad gave me my trade, but then I went off to do my own career. So I think if you enjoy it, then stay with it. Are you, are you a good businessman? No, not really. I think as you get older, you get better. I think because you're more, you, you, instead of making a quick decision, you tend to sit back and think about things before you make a decision. So, you see, a good businessman will make money from anything, but talent will take you there. So it's a choice that you have to take. Um, you either go one or the other. You can blend them. To get, one, to get both at the same time is actually quite tricky because normally talent will need something to back up that business acumen to make that a success. So you need that, I think, a little bit of both. What is success to you? Happiness. If you wake up with a smile on your face and being satisfied, that's the hardest thing. And one of the other hardest things to do is actually appreciate what you've got and being happy in yourself. And it's not what you've got, it's who you are. Yeah, I wanted to change the colour for a while, so it's not because I didn't like the colour before, but I'd seen what Yanni had done and I thought, that looks quite nice, you know, so I just wanted to change it up slightly. I hope he hasn't messed it up. I'll go crazy if he has. So, we're not going to show you his car, because obviously... It's only a Mini. Leave the Mini alone. Okay, Go so on. we're going to reveal Mr. Paul Hollywood's car for the first time. And I hope you like it. Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah. That's how it should have been. I got the Hollywood handshake. That is how you know this job was on point. I just think it looks amazing. It's so pretty. Wow. The original color was nice, yeah, but I yeah. think for what car it is, yeah. it needs to be a bright and standout color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this... I agree. And that, that just looks so pretty. Wow. It's a real statement, isn't it? When you're looking at it, it looks like you bought the car that yeah, color. Yeah, you absolutely. wouldn't think that, okay, you've had your car wrapped. Yeah, that's amazing. I want to get on the road now. Get it out of here. Well, you gave me the Hollywood handshake. Yeah, I did, yeah. Were you happy with it? I love it. You did get the shake for that. Got the Hollywood handshake. I can't bake. That's a wrap a car. <laughs> you do know it's a wrap a car, my friend. You do indeed. That's amazing. Right, final question. Mm. Message to the world. I think respect is probably the word that I would use. I think respect for your neighbours, respect for yourself, and respect for everyone around you. And I think the world would be a better place. And that is where we end this video. That is Paul Hollywood. Paul, thank you so much, man. Pleasure. I appreciate your time, man. I know you're a busy Pleasure. man. You spent a lot of time with me today. Um, but yeah, that is Paul Hollywood. And that's been a great interview. I've enjoyed this one. Cheers, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.